90 Day Fiancé couple Yara Zaya and Jovi Dufran have generated a lot of buzz, but not all opinions about them are popular. The 90 Day Fiancé Season 8 duo has now starred in several seasons of franchise content, including the recent season of 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After? The pair started off as polar opposites, as glamorous Ukrainian beauty Yara loved luxury and detested Jovi's home in New Orleans, and Jovi loved strip clubs and partying. However, they have been held together by their love for their daughter, Myla. Yara's pregnancy solidified their marriage and their child has kept them together despite a few rocky years. Though Yara remains unhappy with their living situation, she and Jovi continue to prioritize their relationship due to their mutual love for Myla. Yara Zaya shouldn't complain about Jovi Dufren's work trips Reddit user trailer underscore park underscore snark started a thread asking for unpopular opinions about the 90 Day Fiancé franchise couple. They argued Jovi was not in the wrong for the safari trip he took with his friends or the fact that he travels for work. She knew what his job required before she married him. It's not something he sprung on her after he moved her here, the user wrote. I've long said that she knew what he did for a living and accepted it so no need to continue to complain about it. That's his job, he loves it, it's provided you and the family with a very comfortable living, a commenter agreed about Jovis' work. Jovi Dufran isn't out of Yara Zaya's league when Yara and Jovi first met some 90 Day Fiancé viewers believed the Ukrainian woman was too good for him, while Yara's friend said she was out of his league. However, since the happily ever after finale, comments have cropped up online in Jovi's defense as he is praised for his looks, character, and job. In a different Reddit thread started by user caramel underscore 63 grams, a commenter stated, the one saying ease out of her league or shallow as hell. Jovi might not be the most handsome but he's not ugly, he has a good job and can provide well and loves his family. Dozens of comments called out Yara for not defending Jovi when her friend insulted him. Someone says your spouse is out of your league is saying your spouse is ugly and you have no taste. More of an insult to you than the spouse, another Redditor voiced. Yara Zaya is actually worse than Jovi Dufran Yara was initially very popular among 90 Day Fiancé franchise viewers due to her dry sense of humor and blunt honesty, while Jovi received a party boy label. However, an increasing number of complaints about Yara are being voiced, while Jovi receives more praise. Yara Yada the spoiled, pouting child. She really turned it up for the cameras on the street waiting for her car. Another Redditor wrote about Yara's happily ever after, tell all finale actions. Yara is a fake with her crocodile tears for the camera one minute, then treating Mrs. Gwen like the hired help the next. Not sure how Jovi can stand her non, stop nasal complaining and whining, sick, another critical user voiced about the 90 Day Fiancé franchise star. It's clear from the responses that Yara and Jovi remain a controversial reality TV couple. Source, trailer underscore park underscore snark, reddit, caramel underscore 63 grams, reddit, Jovi Dufran, Instagram. With a gentle touch, you tell me what all of I have to share. It must be because how you are what I own you. Only you do know, you do know, you do know. Only you do know, know the Paris. Still moving, still saying
Hilfe. 